Hey Cumberland community, I hope you're doing well out there. Today our read aloud is going to be about animals. I want you to think about this question. Why do animals look the way they do? You may have wondered why elephants have long trunks or why some animals have eyes on the top of their head or the sides of their head. You'll find out how many animals use these interesting looking body parts in this book by some of my favorite authors, Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. What do you do with a tail like this? By Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. What do you do with a tail like this? Animals use their noses ears, tails, eyes, mouths, and feet in very different ways. See if you can guess which animal each part belongs to and how it is used. At the back of the book, you can find out more about these animals. What do you do with a nose like this? Can any of you guess which animals have these noses? I think I can guess a couple. If you're a platypus, you use your nose to dig in the mud. If you're a hyena, you find your next meal with your nose. If you're an elephant, you use your nose to give yourself a bath. If you're an alligator, you breathe through your nose while hiding in the water. If you're a mole, you use your nose to find your way underground. What do you do with ears like this? Hmm, which animals have these ears? One doesn't even look like an ear to me. If you're a jackrabbit, you use your ears to keep cool. If you're a bat, you see with your ears. If you're a hippopotamus, you close your ears when you're underwater. If you're a cricket, you hear with ears that are on your knees. If you're a humpback whale, you hear sounds hundreds of miles away. What do you do with a tail like this? I know there are at least two tails in there that I don't want to see. If you're a giraffe, you brush off pesky flies with your tail. If you're a skunk, you lift your tail to warn that a stinky spray is on its way. If you're a lizard, you break off your tail to get away. If you're a scorpion, your tail can give a nasty sting. If you're a monkey, you hang from a tree by your tail. What do you do with eyes like these? Why do you think some animals have bigger eyes than others? If you're an eagle, you spot tiny animals from high in the air. If you're a chameleon, you look two ways at once. If you're a four-eyed fish, you look above and below the water at the same time. If you're a horned lizard, you squirt blood out of your eyes. Blood! If you're a bush baby, you use your large eyes to see clearly at night. What do you do with feet like these? I notice some of these feet have webbed toes. I notice some of these feet have claws. If you're a chimpanzee, you feed yourself with your feet. If you're a water strider, you walk on water. If you're a blue-footed booby, 
you do a dance. If you're a gecko, you use your sticky feet to walk on the ceiling. If you're a mountain goat, you leap from ledge to ledge. What do you do with a mouth like this? If you're a pelican, you use your mouth as a net to scoop up fish. If you're a mosquito, you use your mouth to suck blood. If you're an egg-eating snake, you use your mouth to swallow eggs larger than your head. If you're an anteater, you capture termites with your long tongue. If you're an archer fish, you catch insects by shooting them down with a stream of water. And at the back of the book, we have all of the animals that we talked about listed. And for today, I'm going to have you think about doing some research on one of these animals that we talked about. Let's go through them. We have the platypus. We have the hyena, the African elephant, the American alligator, the star-nosed mole, that one was cool, the yellow-winged bat, the field cricket with ears on their legs, the antelope jackrabbit, the hippopotamus, the humpback whale, the striped skunk, P-U, the giraffe, the five-lined skink, the scorpion, the spider monkey, the chameleon, the bald eagle, the horned lizard, uh-oh, blood out of their eyes, the four-eyed fish, the bush baby. Remember, they have big eyes to see at night. The chimpanzee. The blue-footed booby. The water strider. The gecko. The mountain goat. The brown pelican. The mosquito. The giant anteater. The egg-eating snake. And the archer fish. All right, Cumberland Bears, if you'd like to extend your learning today, I challenge you to do more research on one of the animals that we discussed in this book. You could answer questions like this. What is the animal's habitat? Or where do they live? What does this animal eat? Does this animal have any other specialized features? That is, what else do they look like and why? With your public library card, you could do research on limitless libraries. Try Pebble Go. Or you could also go to any good website for elementary students. If you need help, ask an adult to assist you in your research. Thank you, Cumberland. I'll see you back on Monday. Have a great weekend.